Hi, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, anchor of the TVnews.tv, and welcome to GoodTV.com, when television was good. Today our TV time machine takes you back to Tuesday night of the 1965-1966 TV season. At this time, America was making good progress with the space program. Edward White became the first American to walk in space. <laughs> yeah, once again, we were beaten by the Soviets in that endeavor, but we were also launching all sorts of photographic moon probes looking for the best place to one day land. And back here on Earth, the Civil Rights Movement took a huge step backward with the multi-day Watts riots in Los Angeles. In 1965, there were nearly 54 million TV homes in America, well under half of the 115 homes in America today. And on TV in 1965, Bonanza was numero uno. But nearly every other program in Nielsen's top 25 was either a comedy or light drama. Now for Tuesday night in 1965 on GoodTV.com, we present a pair of comedies. One a bit unconventional, and the other just plain absurd. McHale's Navy, seen at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC, was a stumbling, bumbling take on World War II naval warfare. Its star was a real-life World War II naval veteran and heavyweight dramatic actor Ernest Borgnine. Now, to help him carry the comedic load, Borgnine was surrounded by the absolutely hysterical Tim Conway and funny man veteran Joe Flynn. Yeah, you know him better as Captain Bingington or just old Leadbottom. The 65-66 season would be the last season for McHale's Navy, but the show opened the door to more w -w -w wacky war comedies like Hogan's Heroes and, of course, MASH. You're hungry, right? Well, let's take a quick time out and be on the lookout for a retromercial for a snack food that some say was not all that politically correct. Hey, remember the candy you ate as a kid, but you know, you can't really get that great stuff anymore. Well, until now. Just scroll down to this icon, give it a click, and you will be whisked away to oldtimecandy.com, the home of all the candy you ate as a kid like Yipe Stripes Fruit Stripe Gum, Cinnamon Toothpicks, outlawed at school, remember? Gold Mine Gum, yeah, I used to eat an entire bag in just one chew. The Vaunted Candy Necklace, you wanna wipe that drool off your throat? And get this, coming back soon, Bonomo Turkish Taffy, oh yeah, give that Turkish Taffy a smack, and there's tons more. So click right here, and go back, and enjoy the candy you ate as a kid, at oldtimecandy.com. I heard you want to be a frito bandido like me. You do? Then you must sing the bandido song. Let's sing together. You just follow the bouncing fritos corn chips bag. Ay, 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 ay. I am the frito bandido. I like fritos corn chips. I love them, I do. I want fritos corn chips. I'll get them from you. Ay, 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 oh, I am the Frito Bandito, give me Fritos corn chips and I'll be your friend, the Frito Bandito, you must not offend. Now, boys and girls, you are Frito Banditos too, you sing the Frito Bandito song and you look for crunchy Fritos corn chips. That's nice, munch, munch, munchy, bunchy Fritos corn chips. Now, as a naive nine-year-old in 1965, I loved the Frito Bandito, but upon reflection, perhaps the old Bandito did push the bounds of stereotyping back in the day. All right, non-PC Frito Bandito, back into the retro commercial vault with you. Now, in 1965, NBC didn't just settle for the unconventional. They went straight to the unbelievably ridiculous with what many still call the most imbecilic concept for a sitcom in the annals of TV history. Yep, I'm talking about the one, the only, My Mother the Car. Now, if you've repressed this Tuesday night at 7.30 Eastern Time, check your brain at the door disaster. Well, the title says it all. What's it about, you ask? Well, a guy's car is his mom. Actually, it contemplated the Hindu dogma of reincarnation, and hilarity was supposed to ensue. <laughs> it didn't. 
and I believe the star of My Mother the Car, Jerry Van Dyke, brother of Dick Van Dyke, is still trying to live this one down. Eh, but don't take my word for it. TV Guide placed My Mother the Car as the all-time number two worst show in TV history just behind the Jerry Springer show. And that's pretty cruel. Time now for our GoodTV.com fan poll. In 1965, Disney's Wonderful World of Color was the 11th most popular show in America. And the question is, at this time, were you aware that this program was created for the strict purpose of selling your family color TV? Now, personally, I had no clue, but be honest and let us know and see how your response stacks up with your fellow 60s TV fans. We hope you enjoy GoodTV.com programs from Tuesday night of 1965. We invite you to become a fan of GoodTV.com on Facebook. You'll have a good time. I'm the TV News.TV's Jeff Grimshaw, and we look forward to seeing you very soon at GoodTV.com. 60s TV, when television was good.